All right, guys, welcome back. So I hope you have a great new year. Um, obviously, it's the end of 2016. We've lost a lot of great people this year. Um, but hopefully next year will be better. Um, now, relating to my channel, um, you know, and what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to go through all the content, which I'm hoping to release in the next uh, few months, uh, all the tutorials and stuff. So this will be Star Wars, Halo, and uh, I don't think I have anything else to really go over this this video. But um, I know that I am planning on doing another new series. Uh, I'm just not sure what yet. <laughs> uh, if you want to give me maybe like ideas or something, that'd be cool. But you know, it's quite difficult. Uh, there is fireworks outside for some reason. I don't know if you can hear those. So let's start off with the newest stuff over here. Well, there isn't actually anything new. I just want to list the stuff that I haven't actually done yet, which will be coming soon. All this stuff in this world will be done in the next few months. Uh, as they currently are. New stuff may be added in that might be done in the months after, but these things for now are up and coming. So we have the 8080 Walker, which is definitely going to be coming soon because this is a simple and pretty easy build, I think, uh, and it's also like very iconic as well. And um, we've done the ATST, which is great. We have the AT, ATT, is it? Or AAT, sorry. Yeah, from the Clone Wars um, and the invasion of Naboo as well um, this is the Naboo version but it can be recolored for the Clone Wars version we have the X-Wing which is obviously a very very iconic vehicle uh, next to the Millennium Falcon is one of the most iconic vehicles of Star Wars as well as a TIE Fighter uh, but yeah this one is also very simple um, and actually came out very very good compared to what I thought it would to be honest this may not be the final version because I'm not planning on doing this one for a little while, probably mid-January if not in February, um, but we'll see about that. We've done the Y-Wing, the A-Wing and the Snowspeeder and the thing. We have these um, little Jedi uh, Interceptors I think they're called, um, they're pretty cool. And this one's in blue so I don't know who had a blue one in the uh, actual... Uh, uh, movies or the Clone Wars show. In fact, I don't. Was this one in the Clone Wars show? I don't know. I'm not sure. I know uh, Master Yoda had one, but it was a bit different. It was a lot fatter. <laughs> and we have the Slave One, which I I don't know. I might scale this down further. Um, but it'd be a shame because I actually really like this one. But it is kind of out of scale with everything else. I don't know. Maybe. Although I think the Slave one is actually about 20 something meters and this one is roughly double that. So it just looks bigger compared to everything else to be honest. I'm not sure. And then we have obviously the Lambda class shuttle. Not Lambda, sorry. This is a Sentinel. Uh, this is a Sentinel class. The Lambda is the other one. Uh, the more iconic one. But this is the troop carrier one. Um, so obviously you could fit 54 people in here I think it was. And just because I've glanced over there already, here is the Millennium Falcon. Yeah, this one took me ages to do, and I'm very happy with the way it came out. I think for the scale, uh, just uh, I think it's just under double scale, but I, th I think this one came out amazing, to be honest. I really like this build. Um, this may not be the final like iteration of how it is now. Like, I might change this build a bit before I release it, because it will be a while because it is a larger build, same with the uh, shawl. But yeah, um, I think that it's very good. Oh, it's still got landing gear on, but that is because this one isn't actually the flying version. This one is just the ground version, you know, the landed one, but I had to lift it up so I could do the underside detail, which I haven't actually done yet. So yeah, but yeah. Anyway, that's the Star Wars stuff pretty much covered. Oh, and those two, those two uh, tie variants. There will be other type areas that I need to do, but for now it's just those two. Uh, moving on to Halo. So, uh, there's my Christmas tutorials map, just there. <laughs> Minecraft Halo 5 tutorials. Right. We've got a couple of worlds here, so oh, I need to put my texture pack on. Oh, do I? I don't know. Mm, maybe. I was doing a Wraith tutorial and the Phantom tutorial, which you can see here and here. So those are both in progress. Um, this is a new, th yeah, this is the old version of the Wraith. Hang on, I will put my texture pack on. Uh, or resource pack, as it's now called. Give me a minute. Uh, 
it will take a minute to load. There we go. So yeah, that's a new wraith. That's the old wraith. Uh, not much, not too much different, but you know, it is, it is changed, as you can see. Anyway, other than that, I think that's pretty much it for the Halo 5 stuff. Um, I will be updating things that I've done before. Uh, there'll probably be like a new Wasp um, version, but I'm not sure yet. Maybe a new Mantis, I don't know. I don't, know. Uh, I don't think there's much that I've actually left to do. Because there was there weren't that many vehicles in Halo Five to begin with, uh, just a lot of a lot of different variants of the same vehicle. Maybe I might do an anti-air wraith. I'm not sure yet. Uh, really dependent. I might add it to the end of this tutorial as well. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the Halo Five stuff. Oh, I need to take my resource pack off now. Uh, there we go. <sighs> so, moving on from that, onto the main Halo world. Right, uh, so we got the Prowler there, which we did. Uh, I think I, I uploaded that right. I think so. <laughs> I hope I did. I hope I didn't forget. The Elephant, definitely going to bring this out in the next few months. Because this is a build that I'm very proud of. Um, and I hope I can share it with you. Um, and we also have... What else have we got? We've got a new Shadow. I don't think I did a tutorial on that yet. Uh, got the Banshee, which is the Halo Reach one, I think. Yeah, the Reach Banshee. So, as you can see. I know I kind of, like, overflow you all with Banshees, but to be honest, they're all different, really. And I I have took a big break from making Halo stuff, so a Banshee's overdue. Two different variants of Spirit, which we've got to do. The Sniper Tower, which I've got to do. Uh, probably going to do a new version of the Shade Turret. No, I was going to say is this new version, but it's not. That's the old version. Um, I was planning on doing like modular fire base sections that I did at like separate tutorials, but I think I'm just going to forget that now because uh, it would be too difficult and too like uh, awkward to do. But yeah, that's those. Now, things that are actually planned to do a new longsword variant or a new version entirely, to be honest. So that's the old one. I will be updating that. Um, what else? I will be doing a new Halo 2 Scarab and a like very updated, or poss possibly a new build for the Halo 3 Scarab as well. Um, I th hmm, to be honest, I think that's kind of it. I know there is other stuff that I've ne never actually done, uh, stuff that I haven't built ever, um, but. To be honest, I can't remember anything off the top of my head, so, uh, you know, it depends what, what happens, what I find that I like, what I want to do, so, yeah. Um, and that seems to be about it for the, for the Halo stuff on this world. Um, but now let's get to the Halo Wars world, because that's all the way down here, is it? Or did I go past? Oh, it's there. Right. Okay, so we got the Nightingale, which is a Halo Wars 2 vehicle. Oh yeah, one thing I want to mention is I pre-ordered Halo Wars 2. I want to I want to hear your guys like suggestions on this because it is kind of annoying me. I did order Halo Wars 2 or pre-order it like after the like deadline for the Halo Wars Definitive Edition early access thing. But I got my code for it, so I was like, okay, cool. And I redeemed it, but then like I can't get the game. It I, I redeemed it on Xbox, and then uh, it started installing the Halo app. Not a Halo Wars, just a Halo app. But then, like, that couldn't finish, and I tried, like, restarting my Xbox and everything, and it still didn't work, so I had to, like, cancel the download. But then I couldn't find the Halo app in the store after that, so I was really confused. And I tried to go on my PC to redeem it instead, and then it just says that code has already been used. So I'm hoping that the Halo Wars Definitive Edition just like automatically comes up when uh, as redeemed when it actually does launch with the Halo Wars 2. Um, but if not, then I will probably have to contact support. But I don't know. Does anyone know anything about that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> I paid good money for that. Anyway, yeah, uh, Halo Wars 2 map. 
I took the um, blister back out of the upcoming list because I want to make changes to it. Uh, it is kind of not accurate. I looked back at the actual model and it is not that accurate. I was making a new smaller version of the Locust and that kind of didn't work out as I wanted it to, so I'm redoing that. We have the Halo Wars 2 Grizzly, the Halo Wars Scarab, the Halo Wars Arc Reactor on the Treads, which is awesome. I actually love it. And the Spirit again, uh, that's just a port of the one from the other map. But yeah, that's the Halo Wars stuff. Oh, I was looking on a Banished Spirit, but that doesn't really work out. But yeah. And I, I think that's kind of it, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, there isn't that much to do. One thing I do, no, 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 I don't know. I don't think I can show you. To be honest, it's a secret. I was, I, I have been working on something, and that's why uploads have been slow. But that's a secret. Sorry. <laughs> Damn, we've been going for eleven minutes now. Okay. Uh, so yeah, have a great new year. Um, I will see you again soon in the next tutorial. I might even do one tonight, just as like a little New Year's present. Yeah. But yeah, hope you all had a great Christmas and hope you have a great night. Goodbye.